Good morning, anyone. This is Daniele Capezzone, a view from Italy, the Watcher Post from the Utopia Studios in Rome. A couple of remarks before Easter. Uh, my first remark, uh, there is a bizarre uh, and binary and extreme vision of life and politics shared by so many politicians and pundits and experts and commentators, according to whom it's all total black or total white, without any possible nuance, without any possible shade of gray. Uh, according to this vision, according to this view, um, if a politician, if a political party, if a party leader backs up a government, if he supports a prime minister, uh, a coalition, uh, the party, the leader, the politician, should have only two extreme options. The first one is to say always yes, to give always green light to any kind of decision, to automatically bow to the decision made. The second one, extreme option, is to uh, torpedo the government, to act like a sort of irresponsible suicide bomber, politically speaking, killing himself and the government. So, according to this vision, uh, Matteo Salvini, the leader of League, uh, Forza Italia, but also the reforming part of the Democratic Party, let me quote um, Governo Bonaccini, who is the president of Emilia Romagna, who are backing the government, shouldn't go on pushing to ease the existing restrictions. We totally disagree with these binary and extreme options. Salvini and the reforming part of the Democratic Party and Forza Italia, from our perspective, are perfectly in their right if they back up the government with loyalty, but at the same time, if they go on pursuing their own agenda, if they push the government to lift the existing restrictions, if they help the government avoid mistakes, if they go on explaining, and we wish uh, the Prime Minister Mario, Mario Draghi could be convinced that Italy can't afford another month or even worse, uh, another two or three or four months, who knows, of on and off lockdown. My second remark is about the EU. Uh, last Friday, a week ago, the European Union decided to uh, strengthen uh, its attitude to stop uh, vaccine exports. Uh, according to this decision, there will be two criteria, two standards, two principles the EU will respect. The first one is totally understandable, uh, and it is the so-called reciprocity. If a non-EU state, if a state which is not member of the EU uh, doesn't export vaccine, the EU can as well decide not to export. That's totally understandable. While the second principle, uh, proportionality, is a bit bizarre, what does it mean? If anyone outside the EU has been faster and cleverer than the EU, we should punish them. What's their fault? Their fault is that they have been cleverer and faster than us. That's crazy, of course. And let me make a final quote directed, uh, a final remark directed to the media. So many media uh, uh, have written in this week that there are mm, vaccines produced by the EU. No, dear friends, there are no vaccines produced by the EU. There are vaccines produced by private companies who may have some plans in the EU. This is a bit different, and the EU has no right to grab this vaccine and to make authoritative decisions unless you share a sort of communist vision uh, in the relationship between a private company and public authorities. Thank you once again, have a nice Easter, and uh, see you next Friday here from A View from Italy.